artist, inventor, scientist and astronomer. Leonardo da Vinci was a Renaissance man of extraordinary talents. So it's fitting that his name is celebrated here at Huawei's Da Vinci Exhibition Hall in Beijing. And I'm surrounded by absolutely cutting edge technologies that the Italian polymath would surely have marvelled at. Among those technologies, 5.5G. And luckily for Da Vinci and for me alike, Professor Boy Lucia from the Institute of Social Research in Frankfurt in Germany is on hand to explain exactly what 5.5G is and what it will enable. 5.5G is just uh, an enhanced version of 5G, uh, but it is a huge uh, leap in capacity and also in latency, which means the reaction time of the network uh, gets much shorter. And this is what you need to deploy 5G in networks of advanced factories. Especially when you want to connect robots, you need a lot of data to move ahead. And up to now, 5G technology and the previous mobile communications technologies, 4Gs, they have not been uh, powerful enough to do this. But with 5G, it's now possible to use mobile communications in factories. So what specifically does it enable in these vertical industries such as mining and manufacturing and healthcare? Yeah, it's especially for, for manufacturing, it enables to put the whole digital network for the factory on uh, mobile communications. Up to now, uh, the big data networks always, all, always have operated on the basis of cables. So in advanced factories with many robots, you also see a lot of cables when you look into the, the corners and, and on the ground. And these cables usually are uh, very difficult to maintain, often they are difficult to install, and they are the main source of failures for these networks because someone can hit a cable or a cable can get wet or someone runs it over with a forklift. Uh, and this is uh, one of the main sources for downtime in production in digitalized factories. When now, as everything is uh, is uh, 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 transmitted by mobile technology, you don't have this problem. In addition, the 5GA standards gives you, uh, simplifies the data architecture. Before that, you needed to have one channel for upload and one channel for download at different speeds, which also means two cables for each device. Yeah? Uh, and so this is a big, this is a big, uh, step towards simplicity and this is this is the beauty of of this uh, of of this uh, uh, technology it makes things simple talk to me also about the importance of data protection when it comes to 5.5g yeah i mean data protection is the key issue for digitalization of production especially since companies uh, are, have to be have to be eager to protect their uh, production data as uh, their secret and secret of, of success. So this has been one major issue and one major reason why many, many uh, small and medium enterprises so far have been uh, hesitant to go on the cloud, as uh, we call it in, in China, because uh, there is widespread fear that uh, the cloud operator uh, may um, do some bad things with the production data. and. Uh, with uh, and for, for this, of course, you need uh, you need standards, you need standard architectures, and you need uh, 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 technologies for um, manufacturing companies to protect the data. And since we are talking, this is not just one company and one company, but this is about about whole industries. And as we just said, when you want to uh, connect the whole industrial park with them. Um, 5GA, of course you need a unified architecture of data protection for all the companies and something that's easy to use, easy to understand, safe and this is basically also something we can learn from mobile communications technology where basically this kind of data protection has been uh, uh, um, deployed in a public space and we're talking about public spaces and we're talking about making manufacturing infrastructure public. 
and the importance of safety there you've talked about. Tell us about some of the other challenges that will face the obstacles ahead for 5.5G. From a business point of view, of course, is cost. That's the first thing. The second, uh, the second big challenge is data protection. Uh, and uh, the third challenge is um, the human factor. Uh, you need uh, workers, you need engineers, you need uh, specialists who are able to run this uh, new technology. Uh, what in the, on, the, on the latter point, I would say this can also be a big potential for small and medium enterprises because uh, it is easier to use. So you do not have to hire a, a large number of engineers to introduce some digital equipment like you have it now when you introduce robots usually the biggest, the biggest uh, uh, bottleneck for um, small and medium enterprises is uh, uh, the engineers that you need to hire. Yeah, uh, and so this, the 5GA is uh, maybe may may provide for a more gradual and for a more evolutionary way into into factory uh, digitalization, uh, which also means uh, the labor, the labor issues and the labor. The issues of labor training and education are maybe easier to solve in the future if we do it right.